Hello Paper Crafters! Welcome to my newest video. In this video I have um, some new Marianne Creatables dies I'm bringing to you. The first one you see here is a vintage pair of old scissors. The number is LR0195 and um, these are the old-fashioned kind of sewing scissors and Paula made this tag um, with it. These release was designed by Paula Davis. She did a fabulous job. When I opened this box my mouth just dropped at the thing she created and sent me. Um, I'm going to put these on my mantle for a good while to show these guys off around the house. Just gorgeous, but you'll see. And what she did is she took these scissors and she c continued with the sewing kind of feel. You can see the lace here on the edge of the um, tag and this crocheted flower and the mannequin for sewing and some more lace on the bottom here and it says handcrafted just for you and I'm gonna zoom in on those scissors so you can just see how pretty those are and how they cut how that die cut so um, nicely and the um, in how intricate it can be. You can see the little bird's mouth and that's what those scissors were shaped like a little bird. Okay, I'm gonna move along and the next card I'm gonna show you the next set of scissors and then I'll back out so you can see the card as it holds but it's the scissors more we're more used to and the number is LRO194. There's the dies right there and I'm gonna pan out there's the scissors and underneath I'll show the beautiful card that Paula made and it's this um, kind of really neat saying that it says life isn't about finding yourself life is about creating yourself and I think putting the, the scissors there um, on a showing about creativity is kind of nice and the little um, she colored this with Copic so you can just see how beautiful that is and then inside the card I'm gonna just kind of open it up here. She made this charm with those scissors that's, that dangles from that beautiful bow. This may look familiar to you. That is a Cherry Lynn dye DL102 that I do have on my blog. It's not part of this release but you all know that one and it's been very popular and you can still get it from me. And then over here on this side you can kind of write a little note in there and the flowers are there with this border. It's just so pretty. Well, it's a beautiful card and I'm gonna again close it and you can just see those scissors dangling there how sweet that is. And um, put that there and again those scissors. I'm gonna move on to the next one. The next one is the most creative of the bunch. It is this card. It's a 3D item, a lantern right here. See the glowing in there? And the card that goes with it, it's like a gift set. I'm just gonna see if I can kind of dim the light there a little bit and show you that, that um, tea light in there kind of flickering in the lantern beautiful. Now let's get on to how we created this. Get my light back, get the lighting back on there. There we go. And I wanted to show you the die that is used to make these is LR0190 right here. It's the lantern, Marianne Creatables. And I'd like to draw your attention to a few things. The first thing is this die has a, a door that opens, which everyone always likes opening doors. My goodness, that birdcage that had the opening door, I could not keep that in. And this is another old Marianne die that I, I, I still have for sale. It's LR0150. And for those of you who are wondering, I know this is a paper tray ink rubber stamp. I love paper tray ink stuff. I buy that myself. I can't unfortunately resell them because they don't do wholesale, but they're a fabulous company. And um, it says, you are the light of my life. And that beautiful card kind of opens up. And again, there's that um, Cherry Lynn DL102 French pastry. And this beautiful butterfly with the beads right here. I can lift that up and show you a little bit. But what's so nice about that is it matches this lantern. 
see the butterfly, see the flowers, and this door does open. Kind of, you can look in there and peek at that lantern. Isn't that beautiful? Who would, I, who wouldn't want to receive this as a gift? Who wouldn't? Just gorgeous. Gorgeous card, gorgeous lantern, pearls on it, decorated so beautifully. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, my next item that we have, she made this beautiful bag. I'm just going to kind of let you see the hearts here, a back and a front, and I'm just going to kind of see if I can use this card here to hold that up. No, nope, it's not working, but let me see. I'll just hold it with my hands. Okay, there's a lot of things going on here I want to draw attention to, but the die that she used for this card is this one right here, LR0193. It's a key, an old-fashioned key, and there's the die right there. We're going to zoom in. See that key on that silver sparkly paper with the little paper clip? You are the key to my heart. Then I'm going to draw attention to the next set of dies. See these background, the greenery right here? That is this die, LR0192, which is part of the set. I'll just put that down there and show you. Beautiful, beautiful um, die. These have been very popular already before I even released them. And then over here, for those of you who are wondering, that's a Nellie Snellen stamp set. It's called the... Um, Dawn with Kitten, and I can order these special for you. I don't stock the Nellie Snellen stamps, but I would gladly order them for you. And what I want to do is there's one more die in this right here. Well, here's that, um, some more of that greenery too. But this rose die was made with another Marianne's Creatable in this bunch that I'm releasing. LR0196 right here. Now, some of you will remember that I think it was LR145... You'll have to look it up, but I think was another release with a flower like this, and it was smaller. And these are bigger, plus we've got the leaf here. So I want to go back to this beautiful, beautiful bag that she made, and I want to zoom in on that rose so you can see she made that rose with the, um, the beautiful dye, well, the beautiful rose with the dye, and just how beautiful that is. Did I say beautiful enough? <laughs> uh, bear with me, I'm sorry. And then the stamp with the little kitten and the greenery. Some, those aren't made with the, um, those flowers aren't made with that dye, but just that was an added touch. And just kind of can see the brads put on the side of that box. What a beautiful um, creation this is. If you, it, I don't think my camera can do it justice, but this is such a nice little gift. Um, the box is a gift in itself. It wouldn't matter what you put in here. You could put stones in here. It wouldn't be special in this box. I want to go to the next item. It's called an easel card. And easel cards are named easel cards because they stand on their very own easel. When you open them, they catch on a part and they stand all on their own. There's, if you Google easel cards, you will get a lot of hits on how to make these. And I just wanted to draw attention to what's going on in this card. The first thing is, again, that flower die, the LR0196, this one right here, was used to make these flowers. So that's why I'm zooming in on them. And then you might remember this. This is the Heartfelt Creations um, Layered Elegant Swirl from the Gatefold Collection. That's, she used parts of that there. And I just wanted, and this was from that Gatefold Collection too. This is the Layered um, Scallop Posy, and those were the little flowers in there with that. And then over here is the um, Butterfly from Cherry Lynn DL112. That was the same one that was on the lantern. I don't know if I pointed that out, but that, that was on that lantern too. And we open it up, and we've got some more things going on here. Again, we have this beautiful rose that she made with the, the dye from this release, LR0196. And again, those little posy flowers. And this is, this is an old one. That's a Marianne Creatable that I have for sale too. Um, I believe that's 
either LR, um, oh, let me think, that is LR0143, I believe. It's either 143 or 144. I think you can't off the top of my head remember. But this card is so pretty. And you just, I'm going to zoom out so you can just really get the effect of what a sweet card that is and how beautiful it is to be able to make those flowers. And remember, when you can make your own flowers, they can match the paper. So you can have a background paper and an exact matching flower. And it, they're not that hard to make. I want to point out there in the center are these little holes here, which you just simply layer these. You cut out as many as you want. You can cut out one of each and put them together like you can see here in the background that they did, or you can cut out multiples like Paula did and just kind of comb them and um, and then start to come out with them and curl the edges outward. And you can do that with a kind of like a, um, any kind of a round cylinder. I, I think of a, um, a piercing tool that I might have or a not more of a piercing tool that would probably be a little bit more difficult but a dry embossing tool would work great or if you have quilling tool works nice but or even a bone folder to just curl it against your fingers um, works nice too such a pretty card and again I just want to show that off and how beautiful and my last but by no means least it's one of my favorites of the collection and there it is. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. That is a sidestep card. And again, if you don't know how to make a sidestep card, it's called sidestep because of these um, mountains and valleys here. Um, beautiful cards. I've made a few myself. They're really easy. Just Google it and find a pattern to make them. And the die that, w that goes with this card that we have for sale is LR0191. It's this lantern post or signpost, depending upon how you use it. And you can see here, I'm just going to tilt this a little bit. Here is the signpost on the card, and here is the lantern post. And I'll bend that a little bit there so you can see it. And just all the beautiful how um, thought that went into this. Paula's an engineer, in case any of you are wondering. That's why I think she can do this stuff like it. I don't know how her head goes that way. I can copy, but remember, she designed these. So um, this is a Cherry Lynn the Grass B126, and this is from the Cherry Lynn um, A2164, the uh, door with the kitten, screen door with the kitten. That's the kitten from there. And then I don't know what that little fence is, but it's a cute little guy too. And again, those are the posies from the Heartfelt Creations Gatefold set, the um, layered scallop posy. But, and that's a Tilda die. I don't sell Tilda. Um, I don't have anyone that sells her to do it, but they're out there and they're easy enough to get. And look how, what a gorgeous job Paula did with her Copics, giving that hair and how she shadows. She's really good with those markers. Um, wish she'd give a class on those. We'd all sign up. And then to think about, um, you know, joining this with some eye, with some, um, yeah, I think they're called ringlets for jewelry and how that's, that little sign hangs, love grows here, and then adding the little flower for that touch. And then these little butterflies and the lantern in the background here. I'm just surprised Paula didn't make that light up somehow. Uh, she's so creative. I hope you enjoyed all of these dies. Again, the prices will be on my blog for how much they are and what is exactly in this collection because there was a lot to go through. Please email me with any questions you may have and please visit my blog for prices and further information. I thank you for watching and bye-bye everyone. Take care.